you guys here on Candice Renee and I'm back with another video and today 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 as you guys see my title I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite hair products hair accessories all that good stuff let's just get right into the video but before we do make sure to like comment and subscribe you already know the drill and also make sure that you're following me and Oh, also make sure you're following me on instagram at candace with two e's underscore renee i'll leave it right here on the screen and let's just get right into this video so i'm gonna start with wash pro like shampoo conditioner or whatever so the first products i'm gonna talk about are these the whole blends this legendary olive um shampoo and conditioner so i used this in my last wash day routine video and you guys i love as you see it's halfway gone um i just got some more of this but i love this stuff so much you guys it's so moisturizing and i love that it's silicone free and paraben free not all of their um products are paraben free but not silicone free i got this because i thought i had protein overload because that's a whole if you guys haven't seen that video i'll leave it up here yes i thought i had protein overload i didn't but so I was trying to use moisturizing products only. I ended up getting these and I ended up falling in love with it. And what I love about the conditioner is that you do not, you guys, you do not need that much. A lot goes a long way, okay? And then the shampoo, it's not stripping at all, very moisturizing. It does have sulfates in it, but you know, I don't care about sulfate. But I do use sulfate free as well, which the next product is sulfate free. And everything that I mentioned, it'll be in the description box below so you can check the price and where, you know, where to buy it. Kinky Curly, if you can see this Kinky Curly Come Clean um, shampoo. This is a clarify clarifying shampoo and you guys, this stuff when i tell you it's gonna clarify your hair so well it may leave it a little on the dry side but i don't mind that because i'm gonna follow it with a deep conditioner and conditioner you know what i'm saying so the moisture is gonna be put back in my hair when i style it as well you can count how many ingredients are in the product so if you're one of those people that don't like you know when it's a long list of ingredients and stuff like that you'll like this because it's all their products my curls be they just be so bouncy and just the bounce bounce. Mm. Shout out to my girl K underscore Chanel Kenya on Instagram and to Curls by Ash for putting me on this and whoever else told me about this. I love it. Like, and I love that it's not even, I thought it was going to be like maybe like somewhere close to $20. I believe it's only 10, maybe even less, but I think it's 10. What I like to use with this is the Flora and Curl, Curl, Re, Curl Refresh or Clay Curl something clay curl refresh it's a clay mask i like to use that but i'm all out so i can't show you but i used it here on my channel before i'll leave it on my hair for 15 minutes with the plastic bag over and then i'll wash it out i'll rinse most of the clay out and then i'll um shampoo to get the rest out with this and i like to do that once a month because oh yeah, that's the thing i use this once a month so just to clarify because all the products all the builds up your hair needs a nice reset so that's what i'll do i'll do the cl that clay wash with this not stripping at all that's why i like that clay wash it's not stripping at all and let's go to deep conditioners so um i really so this deep conditioner i said i wasn't using it anymore because i thought this is what caused my protein overload which i didn't even have i used it again it was perfectly fine i like to use this um oh i didn't say what it is it's the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore treatment mask with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar i like using this when my hair feels like it's just too you know like when it's borderline moisture overload like i mean i don't get to that point but you know what i'm saying like where your hair just feels like it needs some strengthening some type of strengthening or like if you, you know what i mean any other time i'll use this shea moisture um shea moisture Manu manuka Ugh, manuka honey and y'all like i'm i'm acting like i never used these, these products before i should know the name by now manuka honey and mafura oil intensive hydration hair mask so i've been using this for years now most of the deep conditioners i love okay let's go to styling products so let's start with this y'all if you already know you've seen this so many times on my channel the myel pomegranate and honey line and i just i've been using this since basically it came out 
and what i love is that they're just both moisturizing i do feel like the leave-in from when i first tried it to now like it got a little more lightweight i mean it still does the job it's still very moisturizing but i feel like it's a little more lightweight than when it first came out i don't know that could just be me and the twisting souffle very thick very creamy that's why i don't mind the leave-in being lightweight because especially when i use these together because i'm a follow-up with a thicker product i talked about the smell many times smell amazing from myel as well we have the moisture rx line hawaiian ginger moisturizing hair butter and the leave-in conditioner the leave-in is so like look i'm tipping it upside down it's not falling like the leave-in is so thick so moisturizing i love it and it defines your curls really well just this alone and then the um hair butter i love this very moisturizing it's lightweight so the difference like with these the butter is lightweight the leave-in is thick and with the pomegranate and honey it's vice versa so the twisting souffle is thick the butter and then the leave-in is lightweight smell really good as well next we have texture id so you can see we have the styling cream and then the foam the um i'm trying to read it from my phone the thermal styling wait thermal multi-styling foam y'all let me tell you about this right here let me tell you about this right here this styler cream definition alone this alone definition on a thousand the foam this is what i use for my perm rods i mean yeah perm rods flexi rods i just did one not too long ago this foam i feel like that's really what helped keep that hold and this foam is also moisturizing i would like to try it for a wash and go i'm gonna try that because i haven't done a mousse wash and go I have, i'm just gonna be talking i'm gonna put the videos if i use it in a video i'm gonna put the video up in the eye what i love about most of the products that i use they're more on the inexpensive side so because y'all some of these products be getting a little <laughs> getting a little carried away but i understand you know pricing i get it if it's worth it like if you feel like it's worth it and it works for you buy it shoot like if there's a product that's 25 dollars and it i really love it i'm gonna buy it because it works it just be it still don't take away that it be hurting the pox a little bit and it does hurt you know what i'm saying to spend that much but you know if it's worth it it's worth it let's go with this oil by tray life the Silmi hair oil, you guys. This oil, uh, like, oh my goodness. So you guys know I used to use coconut oil and I used to apply it first to my hair. It was working for the longest until, you know, what I went through with my hair and then it was like, all right, this coconut oil is not working. So I switched it up and now I started using this. And y'all, this oil, is amazing as you see i need some more i just apply this after my leave-in so now i do my leave-in this oil and then i'll do the rest of my products thank you thank you <laughs> that's all i can say is thank you let's see let's go to the gel y'all know y'all see me talk about this before eco styler olive oil gel i really love this gel but as of late it hasn't been i don't know if they changed the formula or what but it does not hold on its own like it just doesn't do the job if I use this alone. I started pairing it with this gel that I love as well, the Extreme Wet Line, and they works really good together. With this, I'm gonna be applying like 100 layers of gel, and then it's like, where'd it go? And with this, I'm gonna apply it, and then stiff, stiff where, stiff there. Putting them together makes like the perfect combo. So I'll either apply this first, brush it in, then go with this or vice versa. This is what I use for my wash and goes, you guys. This is the best, like the best gel, the best gel for wash and goes. I had did like a um, simple hairstyle on a wash and go and a lot of people were asking, what did you use? What did you use? What gel? This is the gel. I said it too on the post, but this is the gel. I made a video showing you guys exactly what I did and guess what? Deleted it not on purpose i wasn't paying attention to what i was cleaning out of my phone I made so many videos i like six videos i promise you and deleted them 
and you know how i said i was coming back like with the uploads and i was dead serious i did and deleted them that's why y'all hadn't seen me in two weeks because i was kind of over it like are you kidding me <laughs> like i was like no nah, i'm not making another video dog to prevent that when i make the video when i record the video i'm that um editing that day or the next day that's it let's see how that goes but that's what i'm planning to do all this stuff is what works for me everybody's hair is different but you can always try it and see if it works for you i really hope it does because i love these so yeah um okay <laughs> got a little passionate there but the last oil i've been using this for years too is the um smooth and shine hair polisher by who is this um by smooth and shine <laughs> like duh <laughs> i love using this you know to separate my hair i'll just rub it in and it I, it really does add that shine for real oh hold on like <laughs> we're gonna go into this edge control real quick so this is from hair addiction this hair addiction edge control stronghold no flake no build up when i tell you guys no lies and they should have put no lies because <laughs> they're not lying my favorite color pink it smells so like you guys know like i'm a sucker for products that smell good and this just reminds me when i used to get my hair pressed and she would like i don't know what she would use like that spray she would spray it and then go with the flat iron like this smells like that and it just brings back great memories i mean i was getting my hair burnt um heat damage i don't know if that's a great memory but i don't know it just it just smells so good it just laid on top of that i could go out in 100 degrees i feel like it i mean it hasn't gotten to 100 but 95 degrees edges still in place go play basketball go play tennis Go, heck, go swimming. Okay, I don't know about swimming, <laughs> swimming, but you know, be active, sweat, edges still laid, you guys, versus you use some jam, cause y'all, I had the nerve, knowing how jam is, I had the nerve to get some jam. I might as well use water, and it looked like I laid my edges with um, vegetable oil or something. So there's that, the brush, and then, Honestly, this video might be two parts because I don't want it to be that long. So we'll see. I really didn't want it to be that long, but I don't know. Let me, let me hurry up.